Welcome back, everybody. There's a good look at the number one player in the world, Ben Johns. Just a couple days from his 24th birthday as well. That'll be on Saturday, so big day for Ben. And Ben is also one of the many players, Dom, that is here in the Austin area. So it's nice for these players to be able to wake up in their own bed and come over and play after travel is demanding. So uh, Ben Johns at home for not just a pickleball tournament, but his 24th birthday. There's a look at his opponent. And his opponent, John May Martinez Vick. And Martinez Vick coming off of two very nice wins, taking out two higher seeds. Zero, First zero. over Hartland Jones and Yates Johnson. Puts him in this quarterfinal matchup. And just deep there from Martinez Vick. So uh, one versus 25 here. Uh, ben Johns, zero, of course, zero. really has come to play in singles in 2023. Has lost one time, and that was to Stax Root. Great job Side by out. Martinez Vick right there. Zero, zero. Just get that out of here. Just get it out of here. Fly swatter. <laughs> just slap that down inside out forehand. Zero, zero. Incredible wow. coverage. I think John's thought this point is over and got surprised. Martinez Vick, very zero, zero. impressive there. Side out. Uh, and don't sleep on Martinez Vick. He's got wins over Julian Arnold. He's got wins over Connor Garnett, Hayden Patrickwin, who zero. we saw earlier, Pablo Tellez. So this guy can play. And I mean, he's smooth. Side Just out. watch his movements right now. One, he's smooth. Two, he's not intimidated. Obviously, zero, he's got zero. big wins. And Dave, I'm going to take a, a a page out of, of your book with that two-y that he's got yes. right there, zero, and it zero. is absolutely beautiful. Goes a little long on that one, but again, it's nice. Ben leaves it up, and Side Martinez out. Vic is there. I don't know why he's so why apologized. Why do you apologize yeah. for that? Yeah. <laughs> Keep hitting winners. He's, he apo he triple apologized. Oh, like, zero, zero. Okay. That can, you don't need to give him a birthday gift two days early. It's all good. Side out. A great leave from the veteran Ben Johns. And again, we talk about it. We were talking a couple days ago, Dave, about the veteran Ben Johns at the ripe zero, zero. age of almost 24. Yes. Yeah, 23 and 363, and that is a Point. beautiful strike off of that Yola Perseus paddle. He likes that. He likes the sweet spot on it. It has really Whoa, improved zero. his singles game, especially the two-handed backhand. Oh, and look at that little dropper over after the Ben Johns patented inside out run around drop forehand, but Martinez Vic right there. Zero one. And that stays one. in, so we are tied at one. Yeah, Johns thought that ball was gonna be well long. He let it go. He could have played it, but he thought it was gonna be well one, long, one. but it just dropped like a lead balloon back there on the baseline. quickness but can't get there I mean Martinez Vic as I mentioned has beaten a lot of players including Gabe Joseph in uh, Arizona earlier this year and Gabe Joseph having quite a day with that win over McGuffin earlier today and look at that ridiculous court coverage and punches the volley on the move hard to do yeah it's tough you know you get a, he's got the full game and the full package we haven't seen much of him but we're one, seeing one. it early on in this first game 
against Ben Johns. Just rifling winners. Martinez Vic up two to one, and that is a gorgeous two handed backhand tucked neatly in the corner pocket back there. Two, one. Uh oh. That just misses the baseline <laughs> back there on court number four. <laughs> yeah, that thing is long gone. That's on Wakeland Avenue back there. And uh, that'll happen on a, on a good return and maybe a little kiss off that center line, not the baseline, mm -hmm. but. Uh, One, two. We got plenty of Duras. We're fine. Again, we saw that very effective in the women's match of going back where your opponent was, and Johns does it again right there. 2 2 early here. This is quarterfinal two, two. men's singles. Just cool, Point. calm, and collected is Ben Johns. With everything he does, he goes inside out drop, then goes forehand flat down the line, Three, and then two. goes two-hander flat down the opposite sideline. Yeah, and that was the, the day that his singles game elevated, being able to have that weapon on the two-handed backhand side as a pass. Winner of this one gets the winner two, of three. De Villiers and Alshon, which is on an auxiliary court, so that is a great battle going on. And look at Martinez Vic. Wow. The Does, he look scared? Does he look scared? Not one bit. Not he is not bit. intimidated. And again, it's it's the old adage of who's your opponent? Nameless and faceless. It doesn't matter who's on the other side of the net. You're playing against whoever it is. Three, three. Throw out the number one player. Okay, that's who I'm playing. Let's go. Oh, and had Johns leaning the wrong way, and what a patient approach to that rally for Martinez Vic. And it is Ben Johns who has his hands on his hips right now. But who was in control of that whole point, Dave? It was Ben Johns. Yes. And all of a sudden, Martinez Vic comes in, closes ground, and hits that two-hander for the winner down the line. And it was an opponent's home run, so they threw it back onto the field there. So we're going to collect the ball that came from Wrigley. the out of court. Exactly. Four, three. I guess Ben Nine. is from Austin, so uh, we, we'll, we'll allow that here. But <laughs> crowd just wants great pickleball, and they are seeing it here from John May. What a great start three, for him. Four. Wind is at his back there, so that's not going to stay in. Dom, you ran out on the court. What's the wind situation out there? It's kind of swirling a little bit. Um, when we were out there earlier, it was kind of cross um, from the bottom side of your screen to the top from left to right, and it's very similar right now. And that is a wicked forehand from that man. Ben Johns ties us, excuse me, extends his lead to 5-4. Seen that exact, exact shot on the run, and he gets so much on it. Yeah, and that's the key right there is he has to get something on this, or else Johns is going to track it down and put another paddle Four, on five. it. And the footwork of Martinez Vic forces an error from Johns. This kid's an athlete. I mean, the balls that he is getting with his two-hander to try and drop in, some of them are behind him. And uh, Martinez Vic threw his hands up after he hit that way too high and just carved for a winner from Ben Johns. And Ben 
Ben Johns ran out of real estate over there on the sideline from that angle. He was actually there, but just too tight to the advertising there and had to had to stop. So nice angle from Martinez Vick. And an overhit ball again from Ben Johnson. Tremendous. You can hear the grunting effort from Martinez Vick. It's it's to Ben Johns' point, it's it's annoying for him right now that he's getting that Martinez Vick is getting all these balls back. So he overhits that last one. And it's because he's getting all these back, it just gets frustrating that he can't put them away. It gets Johns reaching and a frustrated ball return from Ben there, and it is 7-5. Seven, 7-5. Five. Seven, five. Side out. Had a look at that, couldn't ship it into the court. So, number one seed down two here in the five, quarters. Seven. Just Fine. wide from Martinez Vic there as he is staring down Ben Johns in these cat and mouse games and hanging right there. Six, yeah, he's seven. in every one of these points. He's not outmatched. It's just execution right now. That'll stand because it's into the wind. Great patience from Martinez Vic. Let Johns declare which side he wanted to cover. Effort that he is investing here is significant. I like that he sort of took his time here before he serves this next ball. Seven, six. Ooh, I loved it. I love the idea. If that ball is there, if Johns gets to it, I don't know how much he's going to be able to do with it. Yeah, and it was there for the, t and he held it. He was looking down the line. I ever We loved everything about it except the execution, and, unfortunately. And those are moments Seven. and matches against the number one player in the world that you have to execute. Yep. Oh, might have played an out ball there. And Point. not only did he maybe play an out ball, but he played himself off the court as well. And we're tied at seven. And it goes from eight, six, his lead and his serve to seven, seven. And so those are difference makers in matches like this against the number one seed. Seven, seven. Side out. And he's shaking his head like, don't, don't, don't bring that over here. How many, how many running full swing forehand volleys do I have to hit? No, 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 no. Little, little, seven, little seven. flair in this young man here. I love it. Just wide there. He's Back checking out. in with our referees on the court. Uh, Got to give appreciation to Carolyn Duncanson and Drew DeHennis, our referees for this match. They both concur with the call. Seven, seven. Side out. Johns does not make his signature inside out forehand there. So another shot for Martinez Vic to take the lead. And a big vamos from Martinez Vic after that play, trying to force seven, seven. some momentum here for himself and take a lead back on Ben Johns. Oh my goodness, what a read and what hands and then what pace on the volley, Dom. He turned around the Ben Johns forehand volley like it wasn't even there. I mean, like it was on a tee for him and he just two hands it, winner to take a one point lead here. Eight, seven. Oh, John May had a look there, but uh, Overswings at that one, so 8-7. We're having a little egg hunt here under the bleachers.
I think it's the third ball we've been yeah. through here in this first game. Seven, Seven serving eight. eight here. Side out. Ben can't come up with that one. So this is a chance to put that scoreboard pressure on there as well for Martinez, Vic. Eight, seven. John says, not so fast. He wasn't able to, that being Martinez Vic, not able to get enough on that two-hander right there and pops it up. And John's just swats it down with his backhand. Seven, eight. Wow. Point. Smoked two-handed backhand from Ben Johns. Hello, Perseus. Ball is ripped on the line. And I mean, that is just... Eight. Picture perfect form for a two hander by Ben Johns. Now he drops one, and Martinez Vic can't shape it into the court. We will not have a timeout, so Johns is now edged in front at 9 8. Little Point. telegraph on the drop shot, and Ben and Johns was there easily, and then a little too much. So Martinez Vic waits one more point, does call timeout here, but when we come back, he will be staring at a game point down. What a great first game here in this quarterfinal. Martinez Vic giving the top seed everything he can handle and more. Alert again in the men's singles bracket as Christian Alshon has beaten Jay Devillier and will move on. What a day Alshon has had beating Hunter Johnson, beating the red hot Colin Schick, and now Devillier. Oh my, that ball's out, but we've seen that winner all day long from Martinez Vic. He's like, I'm good. I wagged my finger about this earlier. Yeah, he wasn't taking any chances of letting that ball drop, and he keeps it in by five, six feet. So saves a game point. And what a nice combo. A little lob serve and then inside out. Beautifully done there by Martinez Vic. Nine, ten. And again, he is not going anywhere. Oh, and just doesn't stay Side committed out. to the forehand. Hits himself in the head with the paddle off screen there. Second chance for Ben. Had a game point at 10-8. Didn't go his way. Ten now one at 10-9. And just blisters a serve. Where is John Isner right now? What a cannon from Ben Johns. And that huge serve takes game number one. Martinez, Vic, though, put on quite a show. We look forward to game number two. It's the top seed with game number one. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Dom. We had a three set or three game thriller with Connor Garnett and Tell me more about that. Yeah, Connor Garnett comes out on top of Brandon Lane in three. 11 1, 11 9 in games two and three after he dropped the first one, 10 12. What a great job by Connor Garnett to put himself in the quarters against Gabriel Joseph. Who himself had a huge win over Tyson McGuffin in his last match. So a lot of, a lot of three game thrillers. It is March Madness. Come on. It is. Point. Just deep for Martinez, Vic, and this is a dangerous little spot here. We talked about it in some prior matches. Two, you want to get your footing quickly if you drop game one. And there's the Ben Johns. If you Point. hit a short return, he is coming, and he is on the prowl. Just pure execution from the last serve of game number one right now into the beginning of game number two. Up 3-0, now make it four, and he's just cruising along here, Dave. Yeah, now he is 
blasting away Four, with zero. the wind at his back. So that's how good that serve was before. That was in wind in his face. And this needs to be a timeout. It has to be a timeout, but he is going to go play on at 5-0 down. It looked like he was heading to the bench, but not so. 5-0. And Ben Johns making it look so cash right there. Six nothing. Ben Johns just hanging out on a Thursday afternoon in his hometown. Six zero. Oh, and Johns chose to go body there. He was going body the second time Double too, body. right? He just went into the off the top of the tape, but he was trying to Zero, go six. right at Martinez Vic. That's pulled right wide out. by the wind. So uh, a very focused Ben Johns here in game two gets the ball six, right six. back. Point. Oh, and, uh, Seven zero. A frustrated soccer kick from Martinez Vic there. Missed the return. And after putting on a beautiful show in game number one, he is staring at a 7 nothing deficit. We all want to learn and get better, Dom. Let's see what Top Court has for us. We'll go to that right now. One out left. Well, thanks, instructors Pat Smith and Jesse Irvin. Folks. Don't try to speed it up off your shoe tops, especially if you're a newer player. Some of these pros will do that and it'll work, but uh, that's why they're pros. That's why they're pros. And that is why they're pros right there. What do you tell somebody to do? Return the ball down the middle so there are no angles, mm -hmm. Dom. Right. It, it's exactly what you're taught to do. He does it's such a good job, does Martinez Vic, but then Ben John just rolls it off his shoe tops. It's a little love off the tape too. Eight nothing. Nice drop shot there from Martinez Vic, and you see the never give up from Ben Johns, but perfect combo there from Martinez Vic, but the deficit is now eight. And that was a tough ball for Off Martinez Vic because it clipped the tape. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's such a good forehand. And we saw a ton of that in the first game. We just haven't seen it here in game number two because Ben Johns is putting on so much pressure, but. A nice forehand winner there from Martinez Vic. Yeah, inside in, beautiful. Now goes inside out, and I think that cost the line as well. So two forehand winners in a row. That's why you have an eight-point lead going into that right now. And Ben's like, get that out of here. Just swats that back. So 8-2 now for... Ben Johns, again, looking to move on to the semifinals where he will face, if he wins, Christian Alshon. Point. Nine, two. Just deep on that Side serve, out. so. Saw a couple of beautiful forehands from Martinez. Vic, last time he had the ball, he's got to have two, at least nine. a couple more here. Or he'll take all the gifts, even though the birthday boy on the other side in two days doesn't mean there's gifts available no. on Thursday and Friday <laughs> no. for others. Come on. Oh, just <laughs> such, I mean, you're laughing because of just the, the point construction yes. from Ben Johns right there. Is he carves this backhand cross court, gets Martinez Vic off court, basically, and just puts away the forehand. Yeah, and just twirls around and heads back to serve. Another miss serve there from Johns. Wind is at his back now. Three, nine. Side out. 
Just deep for Martinez Vic there. So again, when you're in this type of a hole, got to make everything. Yeah, you have to, can't straight. afford to be giving Ben John side outs and opportunities to finish this. <laughs> I just, again, so easy, nonchalant. Looks like he's gonna roll this back cross court, but goes flat down the line. 10, three. And here we are at match point for Ben Johns. Perfect read, but we have a Side foot out. fault call, so hold those <laughs> tickets, folks. Drew DeHennis all over Three, that ten. call. Oh, and then Side Martinez out. Vic misses the serve on the other side. So second match point for Ben Johns. 10-3. What a short hop volley there for Ben Johns, and he is moving on to the semifinals. Martinez Vic was impressive in game one. Right there, just couldn't quite get those final couple points, and then Ben Johns dominant in game two. So we will have Johns and Alshon in the semis in our next match here. We've just been going. It's equal time always on the PPA Tour. We go men, we go women. Well, we got two ladies coming next. Anna Lee Waters and Salome Davidze. That's going to be a beauty. So we'll have that next. Ben Johns moving on to the semifinals. We'll be right back.